Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this given rational equation. And one more thing, we are also asked to find the extraneous solutions as well. And by the way, these rational means that we are dealing with these algebraic fractions as you can see. And now we want to solve this equation for x. Before we do that one, I want you to just focus on these uh, denominator over here, which is x square minus 1. And this can be easily factored out. So we can write this one as 4 over and this, by the way, I'm going to put down this x square minus 1. And 1 could be written as 1 square. So we got a difference of 2 squares. And that is same as we can just simply put x plus 1 times x minus 1. And by the way, we have used this fact a squared minus b squared is always equal to a plus b times a minus b. The difference of two squares is always equal to the product of sum and the difference. So I can write this x squared minus 1 as x plus 1 times x minus 1. And then nothing else could be factored out. Just leave it as it is. So x minus 1 over x plus 1 equal to x plus 7 over x minus 1. So the next thing we want to do is we want to remove these fractions. That is the easiest way to solve this equation. So before go any further, we want to look at the restrictions. Restrictions means over here, if you look at x plus 1, what if uh, x plus 1, if x equal to negative 1, so this thing is going to become 0, and we know that 0 must not be at the denominator. So we know that x must not be negative 1. Always remember. And once again, you look at this thing over here, x minus 1 means that x must not be equal to 1 as well. Same thing over here. So x not x must not be negative 1 and x must not be positive 1 because these values are going to make a 0 at the denominator. Now in the next step we are going to find the least common denominator or simply LCD for these denominators for these fractions. So let's look at this one over here. I want you to just focus on this x plus 1 over here and this x plus 1 as you can see the least common denominator for these x plus 1 and x plus 1 is going to be a simply x plus 1. And now let's focus on the other factor which is x minus 1 and this x minus 1 that means we're going to have another factor x minus 1. So that means our least common denominator turns out to be simply x plus 1 times x minus 1. Let's go ahead and multiply whatever this least common denominator across the board. So I'm going to put down x plus 1 times x minus 1 above this term. I'm going to do the same thing. x plus 1 times x minus 1 and likewise x plus 1 times x minus 1. One. So far so good. So let's go ahead and look at this thing. As you can see that this x plus 1 cancels out with this x plus 1. This x minus 1 cancels out with this one. So we simply ended up with just 4 on the left first term over here. 
then minus let's take care of this thing over here this x plus one and this x plus one cancels out so we simply ended up with this x minus one times this x minus one i want you to put down x minus one times x minus one equals to likewise over here i want you to cancel this x minus one and this x minus one cancels out so we simply ended up with this x plus seven times this x plus one as well so let's go ahead and simplify this one so this is going to be a four minus i want you to just simply use a rainbow method or foil method over here you can see x times x is x square minus one x and then you multiply this thing foil method this become negative one x and then negative and negative become positive one equals to same thing we're going to be using same method x times x is we are multiplying x square then x times one is one x and then seven times x is seven x and finally seven times one is seven let's simplify this one over here so this is four minus this is simply is going to be x square minus 2x plus 1 equal to x square plus 8x plus 7. So let's simplify a little more over here as you can see I can write when there you have a negative sign outside this parentheses it changes all the signs so this become negative x square plus 2x minus 1 equal to x square plus 8x plus 7. So now we are going to see this 4 and minus 1 becomes 3 minus x square plus 2x equal to x square plus 8x plus seven now what i want you to do is i want you to move everything on the right hand side so if you remove everything or drag it on the right hand side you're going to have a zero on the left hand side equals to we got already x square plus eight x plus seven when you move this three on the other side become negative three this negative x square become positive x square and this positive 2x become negative 2x let's simplify this thing if we got x square plus x square let's combine them this become 2x square and this 8x take away 2x is going to be a positive 6x and then 7 take away 3 is positive 4 and it doesn't matter you can put a zero on this side as well so now the next step is as you can see that two is in common so what we're going to do is i want you to just divide by two across the board by each and every term that's going to make our life a lot more simpler so two divided by two is simply okay it could give you x square plus 3x plus 2 equal to 0 and this is our quadratic equation and we can simply factor this one out our possible factors are simply x plus 1 and x plus 2 isn't it x plus so let's go ahead and simply split these one up over here so I can split these factors I can put x plus 1 equal to 0 and the other one is x plus 2 equal to 0 that means x is gonna be 
negative 1 that is one of our solutions and x equal to negative 2 is another solution as you can see over here however at the beginning we put a restriction that x cannot be negative 1 or x can't be 1 and as you can see in our case x turns out to be equal to negative 1 which is not acceptable this is not permitted so we're gonna reject this solution this is our extraneous solution so our only solution is this one so thus our only solution is x equal to negative 2 this one whereas x equal to negative 1 is an extraneous solution thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos